Hey, Nash, what should we make for dinner? Well, Tim, you never take me out anymore. How about you make me a steak? Some filet mignon, date night style. Dude, you're a dog. But all right, let's make some filet mignon, date night style. All right, today we're cooking some filet mignon. Good old classic. Some date night type stuff, so... Um, we got two fillets. We're gonna keep it real simple. And I'm gonna go with a method that cooks steak perfectly to your liking every single time. So we're gonna do a little sous vide and I'll show you. Uh, it's pretty easy and it's, um, it's not that expensive to get into, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, without further ado, let's get started on our steaks. So here you can see we have two fillets. Filet mignon, it's a great cut. It's really tender. This is choice grade, so it's the, the least of the graded cuts but it's still gonna be delicious and tender. You could flavor it however you want. I'm gonna keep this one really simple with just salt, pepper, garlic. Remember to get both sides. And once our meat's seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and bag them up. Now we're gonna seal them. Now look, if you don't have a vacuum sealer, you can still do this with a Ziploc bag. It's called the water displacement method. I'll show you that in a sec. But we're gonna go ahead and lock this, seal it. Now that we get everything sealed, it goes right into our water bath. Okay, so. I have this at 129, because we want to get a perfect medium rare on this, but you do you, whatever you like. If you like it well done, I might judge you, but go ahead, go for it. All right, just gonna put this in the water bath, and we're gonna cook this for two hours. The beautiful thing about sous vide is, with the, per with the temperature perfect, it's only gonna stay at that temperature. So if I left these in for four hours, they would still taste great. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, you can just use a Ziploc bag, don't seal it, put your meat in, and then just put it into the water and then fold the edge over and the water is going to displace all the air. So you still get a similar, similar way of cooking. We'll go ahead and lock that in. Like I said, 129 degrees for two hours. I know sous vide may seem weird, but this is what a lot of restaurants use. Like I said, it's the way to get your steak or anything you cook uh, perfect, perfect temperature every time. So good restaurants, a lot of times they'll use sous vide for things like steaks to make sure they get that perfect, perfect cook every time. Um, there's a lot of different units. You can get them anywhere from probably 20 or 30 bucks up to four or 500. Really, anyone's gonna work. The thing that you're gonna sacrifice on the cheaper end is just functions. So you may not have Bluetooth connectivity and all that, but if you're just looking for sous vide, you don't necessarily need all that. So whatever's in your price point, there's probably a sous vide that you can afford. So, and for Heron, we wait for two hours. Two hours later. While we're waiting for our steak to finish, we can go ahead and make a little sauce and a side. So we're gonna take cremini mushrooms and slice them nice and thin. So as our mushrooms are cooking down in that butter, we're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. Let that cook out until you can smell it. Stir it all together. Then we go in with a little bit of chicken broth and a little bit of heavy cream. We're gonna bring it back up to a simmer and then let it simmer, stirring occasionally until it thickens down to your liking. All right, now with our asparagus, you got this woody end and then the good end. Now we wanna get rid of the woody end. There's a few ways to do this. You can kind of look and see, because where you see this kind of purplish or whitish, that's gonna be that stringy kind of texture. We don't want that. But the easiest way to do it is take a nice thick one here, come down and you're just gonna, it's gonna break where it naturally, naturally you don't want this piece. So we can take them a few at a time, line them up. Once you got your asparagus all trimmed up and on a baking sheet. You wanna hit them with a drizzle or a spray of some neutral oil, a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. 
And then you're gonna throw these in a 425 oven for seven to 15 minutes, depending on how thick your asparagus is. So these are more on the thin side, so I'm probably gonna do about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, there we go. Once your sauce is where you want it, we're gonna kill the heat and set it aside. So that's what you're looking for, something well, a little bit thinner than gravy. Now that our meat is done, I'm gonna take it out of the bag. And always save this juice when you sous vide. You can use it for sauces, gravies, all kinds of things. So now we just wanna pat these dry. And I know they don't look that great right now, but we are about to put a beautiful sear on them and you'll see. All right, so now for the sear. Could do this a few ways. Um, today we're gonna do a cast iron, but you could also use a blowtorch or, a, or an open flame, like a, a super hot grill. So in this case, in a screaming hot cast iron pan with a little bit of neutral oil, we're gonna get our sear. Now remember our meat's already cooked through, so we're just looking for that golden brown sear. Nice golden brown, a little melted butter on top with that final cut, or the final cook. Let's go ahead and cut this guy open. See, perfect medium rare. And we plate. There you can see, Perfectly cooked medium rare steak. We got our asparagus on a little bed of mashed potatoes with that mushroom cream sauce. And you're ready to eat, folks. Serve and eat, date night style. All right, now it's time for a bite. So first I'm gonna do a little bit of asparagus. Get all these mashed potatoes. Cheers. You can cook asparagus a lot of ways, but this way it's roasted. So you get a little bit of that crisp from the roasting, but still nice and tender. And let's go in for a bite of this steak. Cheers. Mmm. I mean, filet mignon's a great cut. It's super tender, but um, I like, you know, medium rare. That's what I like. I think it's the best. Super tender, the richness from the beef, plus a little bit of that butter, seasoned perfectly, cooked perfectly with that nice crust. Doesn't get any better than that. Let's see what Nash thinks. Hey, Nash, come here. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Okay. <laughs> He's definitely not the definitely not the most spoiled dog in the world eating filet mignon asparagus and a mushroom cream sauce. Anyway, that's it for your filet mignon date night. Uh, go cook this. Enjoy it. Cook more. Eat better. Embrace the chaos. That's it for now. Peace.